The name of the organization is the West Philadelphia Culture Alliance slash Paul Robeson House and Museum. And the reason why we want to emphasize that is because the West Philadelphia Culture Alliance was formed first and then later on we purchased this house, which was the house that Paul Robeson lived in the last 10 years of his life with his sister, Marion Forsythe. So when you come into the house, I think you will feel the presence of Robeson. We introduce you to the early years and his life and his relationship with this family. We tell you about his father, who really raised him. His mother died when he was very, very young. So we give you a different aspect of Robeson that you're not going to get anywhere else. He was an actor. He was a football player. He was an orator and one of the greatest singers in the world. He was a Renaissance man, and people say, how could one man do all of these things? Not only did he do them, he did them with excellence. We have a new exhibit, it's called His Movies, His Music, and His Message. And it really highlights the many movies that Robeson starred in and got top billing from the 20s all the way into the 50s. We talk about his stage life, and we talk about the many records that were produced. So he did all of these things to really show that African Americans can excel and they can be wonderful. And in the midst of all of that, he also fought for injustice, not only in this country, but abroad. And so that cost him his passport, and that cost him his freedom and his career. My relationship to Paul Robeson was through my family. I knew him as my Uncle Paul and always referred to him as Uncle Paul. He was a very kind and loving person. He spoke out on behalf of people who were deprived, depraved, people who suffered as a result of not just racism, but he was for the common man. I think that Uncle Paul decided to be a voice for people because his father had been a slave. And of course, he knew the history of his father being a slave and having to steal away and come north. Hearing his father's history was what really gave him the impetus to go forward and speak out for other individuals. And not only here in the United States, but throughout the world. And think my works in vain. The history of Paul Robeson, his legacy as an entertainer and activist, his contributions to global social movements across the 20th century has always been an inspiration to me. Thinking about the work that we do here at the House and making connections to contemporary movements like the Black Lives Matter movement and how Paul Robeson has historically played a role and had relationships with those communities. It's such a blessing to be here and be affiliated with the House and uplift many of the black Philadelphians who are continue to live the legacy of Paul Robeson as we teach about his historic contributions. Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.